I do like trying to catch different fish, especially when I feel like I got a good chance to catch something. I came to this spot last night just doing some scouting, and I do a lot of scouting. I looked in over this bridge, just uh, just kind of looking around, and I saw a big old red, uh, big old like koi, orange looking carp. And then all of a sudden, I noticed there's, there's tons of carp in there. So I'm back today. I went grocery shopping. I got bread, I got corn, I got worms, and most importantly, I got catfish and Chris. That's right. That's that's my good luck charm right there. So uh, you know something's gonna something's getting caught today. I don't know. I I, I really want to catch these fish that I saw down there, but I'm just I'll take anything right now. So this is where we're taking the kayak out. That's the only hard part. It's like, gotta go up this hill. I've done it once. Oh my goodness, there's a giant bass right here in front of me. A huge spotted bass on the bank. Hold on, I gotta video this real quick. I'm not even fishing for bass, and then that's when it, oh my. Dude, he's sitting right here. Chris, you got something to throw in there? I got a topwater Where's it? Oh, there it is. Down there with that that's, a, that's a three or four pound bass. Hold on, why don't you come look at it? Just look at this fish. Dang. I might cast at him. We're going right over there, so I may come back up after we get through here and come up from behind him. All right, I'm just going to throw a worm out there. I wish we had some, we have to make some kind of rod holders thing. I don't know. Um, you said the drag real loose. It's laid on the bank. Something a little. Hey Sean, what is that? I don't know. No way, it's a Kusa bass. On a worm. Should have brought my board down here. I got a picture on it. That's all right. <laughs> well, it wasn't what I thought, but it's funny. I catch a lot of kusa bass out of, the, out of creeks on worms. They they eat worms a lot. Pretty one there. That's a genuine, true, pure red eye kusa bass. Someone's biting on it. What is that? Look at him. He swallowed my hook. Get out of that grass. Long ear. Third species. That's, oh man, that thing is pretty. Look at that. Let's get a good video of that one. Whew, that thing is a colorful one. That's cool. Oh, oh, what do I got? I got something. Woo, I got a. Uh, Hey, it's my target species. It's just a lot smaller. Carp. Yeah, a little, little carp. I thought it was a drum at first. Yeah. That's what I wanted to catch. Wait a minute, it might be a buffalo. We'll get in here and take a look at it. I don't think it's carp. Oh no, that's a uh, buffalo or quill bag, I think. I, I can't. Well, check that out. That is a cool catch, nonetheless. Cool, Dang, look at that face on the thing. Huh? On a piece of worm. Well, I sometimes I, I've been I've been neglecting the worms recently and like the kind of multi-species things you can catch. You know, sometimes you just gotta get out there. I knew there was a bunch of fish active and didn't know what I was gonna catch. So this is like my uh, this is my fourth species, fourth different fish over there. Oh, wow. What a relief. There he goes. Last night when I saw them, they were just like munching off the top. It was really cool. Oh, they're coming back through. Oh, they're all up in that right there right now. 
Oh, he's right. He's right there. That one just turned and looked at my corner and turned around and left. He's over there on it right now. He's sniffing it. Ooh. He's all, he's all over yours. Yeah, he just turned and just came up past me. Come on. It's like a probably two or three pound carp. He's sitting at the mouth of this little past the flowing water here. Got it. Oh yeah! Oh, there he goes. Look at him. Uh, Twelve pound was not. What? He just broke that. Didn't block him, nothing. Okay, the corn's gonna be. It. If we get it right, they have to be like sniffing right around it. All that scent brought it in. Though. Man, that made a difference when you put that pack on there. Well, I've had, I've oh, put, there's a whole bunch of them right here. I put too much. Uh, oh, they're dude. They're really thick right here. I put too much water in the corn and whatever and uh, <coughs> poured a bunch of it out so it was a lot of that strawberry whatever scent. Going, going, going. All right. I'll let the drag list. You, they're all feeding right there. I just dropped my worm right where he was feeding where you brought them in. Chris threw a little pack of corn stuff and like they all came up in here were eating. He had one, came off. I dropped my worm down there and got one. <laughs> recording for my channel and I'm recording him <laughs> That's fine. out fishing me. He's caught like five different species. This is my fifth species. Five fish, five species. All off worms right here. That's what I wanted. This is the fish I wanted. I saw these last night. Beautiful. Okay, give me. I, I, it's pretty loose. I got 15 pound leader, but... Dude, they're all through here, right here. All right, I'm gonna get him in. I'm just gonna kind of hold him up. Is that a pretty good angle right here? Yeah. I'm gonna hold him up and try to unhook him and get him back in there. Oh, yeah. Worms came through. Who was that? That's a four. I got scale with me. That's all right. Man, that's, that's cool. A, Look how pretty these things are. Probably four or five pounds. Yeah, he's, a, he's pretty thick. I'd say four or five pounds. I haven't caught a carp in a while. Yeah, look at that. You think their mouths stick down? That quillback had a mouth went straight down. Yeah. Dude, Chris is recording. We're gonna get back to fishing. Uh, this is the fish I was hoping to get, and I was so good to get. get uh, uh, can't speak. So glad to get one. All right. What a cool fish. He's not even acting up on me. Oh, now he goes. Nice. Get one. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> I got a long ear. He's got a carp. Oh, what did I do? Hello, bluegill. They are absolutely inhaling this little, uh, this little bit of a uh, worm. Oh, I heard something. I didn't know what it was. Oh, oh. We got rods going up. My battery's dead. I ain't got a thing in it. Oh. <laughs> Chris hooked up, then my rod was laying here, and it took off too. Oh, you don't have nothing on yours? Hold yeah, on. I've got, I've got one on mine. I mean, your, your uh, GoPro ain't on. No, the battery died. Hold on, like hold on. Let me get it up this way. Oh. I'll let you get yours out first. Okay, I'll video you. <laughs> oh, what a double up. Oh, no. It came off the hook. That's because I had it set like that. and it... Dude, he hit the worm, though. I mean, the uh, corn. I've been watching. I thought something picked at it. All right. And uh, Go ahead. yours took off as soon as I set it up into mine. There's two or three more out there with it. Hey, 
that's gonna smell good in the morning. That's probably about two pounds, I guess you'd say. Yeah. On the corn. Nice and slimy. Let's get the ball. I'm gonna do something. I'm just gonna sit right there and let it sit on the bottom. Yeah, I was waiting for yours to just go off because I kept seeing something tip or half it. Yeah, I don't know if it'll even hold him. Biggest carp of the day, this one, say what, about eight pounds? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Screaming drag. Well, that may be the fish that ends it out. The bites have kind of slowed down here. Haven't got any bites in a while. And actually, after the game morning came, it's, I think he's the one who ran them off. <laughs> that was about the time we stopped getting bites. But uh, it's cool to just get out here and get some different fish. I caught, did I, I don't know, I think I caught one on a car on, on corn. And everything else I caught on worms. Pretty good. Successful fishing trip. Caught the target species. Me and Chris were talking about that. How many times we go after something and we end up not catching that or we get sidetracked and go after something else? Yeah. But he caught a bunch. He caught a bunch of carp. I didn't show all of his. So um, you gotta go. Four. Yeah. Sure. Some of them were some good fighters. And um, we, uh, <laughs> I probably should put, I was thinking about, I'll make it take a screenshot of the text message. I'm like getting ready to go fishing. He messaged me the exact same time. I'm like, yeah, meet me here. Let's go. And then no idea how many times that's actually happened. Yeah, I know. All the times he's messaged with me, and I'm usually already somewhere or I'm not going fishing. Worked out perfectly. Glad he, uh, Chris got to show up, and um, we uh, we caught I caught most of my fish on worms, and he caught most of his fish on corn. Tried some lures, saw some other fish, but definitely a fun time out here. Just hitting the bank and uh, catching. I, I ended up catching several different species, so that was really cool. Thanks for watching. PB bluegill. You want to measure it? Hey, if you want to. So I don't hear. I want to see what. It... Yeah. Oh, hooked him in the eyeball. Counts. <laughs> he. Oh, dude, this is a slab. Oh my. I don't think it's long as yours, but it's. If this was the first one back in here, there may be a few. Nine inches. Still impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Let me get a picture of it. All right. Uh, he bit at it. Just to get it out of his bed. Yes! Giant red ear. Holy cow. It's maybe bigger than the one I caught the other day. Oh, I barely got it. Oh my goodness. They're on a bed over here. I, there's several of them. I pulled it right in front of his face. He nipped at it. This thing is massive. I think this is bigger. This may be bigger than the one I caught the other day. Oh, no, nope, he's not even, he's not 11. He's slimy. <laughs> That's crazy, he's 11 inches. That All right, I'm gonna throw it back in there. That thing is a hammer. <laughs> Barely nipped at it. <laughs> 